Happy Tuesday, everybody. Welcome to True Talk Live. This is our weekly show from the True Service Community Federal Credit Union, and we kind of keep you updated on what's going on at the credit union. But for this quarter, for the 90 days, uh, right now we're per, uh, participating in 90 days of financial fitness. So we're trying to help you um, if you're underbanked or you uh, are in some credit issues, you need to rebuild your credit. Um, we can help you do that. We have certified counselors. We have a program called the True Start program that has a suite of tools to help you do just that. But instead of me just trying to explain that myself, my guest today is Melissa McDonald. She's one of our certified credit union uh, financial counselors, and she's been with the credit union for a long time, and she's also uh, does a lot of our uh, car loans and everything, so she does this on a daily basis. So we'll bring her in now. Hello, Melissa. How are you? I'm I'm good. How are you? Doing great. So one of the things that we wanted to talk about, of course, everybody, I think, looks at credit score. I mean, whether it's credit karma or, you know, getting turned down for a loan, we're always obsessing about our credit score. Um, when you're doing car loans, uh, let's say, for example, let's say I have a 550 credit score. Um, can I get a car loan? And if I need to have a higher you know, credit score, how do I do that? Okay, so if your score is a 550, you may be able to get one, but it's going to cost you. It's, for example, if we're able to do the loan and your score is a 550, um, on a brand new car, 25,000, the most we could do would be 80% loan to value, which means you'd have to pay 20% down. Okay. The longest term we could do is 60 months, five years. So if you finance 25000 your monthly payment, you'd be looking at about 585 a month. You would spend $10,000, let's say $10,073 in interest. Wow. That's all just interest. Right. But if we can get your score to 600, we can do 75 months, which gives you a year longer. We can do 100%, so you may not have to pay down. Your payment would be 432 a month, and you would spend $7,400 in interest. Wow, so that's 50 points, and it's a huge savings. Um, mm -hmm. And I know for me, it gets confusing. So how? what is the best thing I can do to fix that? Mm -hmm. Is it pay off a credit card, uh, get another credit card, try to... Get more loans, pay off loans. What what can help me? Um, so the first thing you need to do is look at your credit. Okay. It, you should, everybody should always look at their credit. Make sure things are being reported accurately. If it's not, contact the credit bureaus and dispute them. Um, the second thing is your credit score is made up of your payment history, your debt utilization, um, length of credit history, new credit, and credit mix. The two biggest are payment history and capacity. That makes up 65% of your score. So on the payment history, if you're delinquent, get current, stay current. I see. Um, you, it may take some time. You may have to work out payment plans with your creditors. But once you can get current, stay current. If I can get current or if I can make an arrangement, how long mm. is it before that reflects on this, on my credit score? So how like, how if, long does it take to rebuild it or? or well, so if I'm, if I'm, I'm shooting for 600 mm -hmm. and I catch all my stuff up to, to, you know, to date and everything, usually how long does it take the credit bureaus to report that I'm up to date? That I'm keeping 30 days. 30 they days. They report okay. every 30 days. Yes. Okay. All right. And so one late fee, one 30 day late can drop your score 80 points or more. Really? I had no yeah. idea. So that's a big thing is you need to get current. You need to try to, you need to stay current. Right. Um, so what we try to tell people is where you go buy the new car, sit down, look at your debts, what you have, and make sure you can afford the obligation. You can afford the new vehicle. And, you know, can you afford the insurance? Can you afford the upkeep and repairs? 
even brand new cars, you got to put tires on them. Right. You've got to pay car insurance. So those are things that we try to educate people to look at. Make sure your credit is being reported accurately and pay everything on time. So sounds to me like paying everything on time is the biggest part. Mm -hmm. The second is capacity. That's debt utilization that comes from credit cards. Okay. So for example, you want to be around 30 to 40% capacity. So what that means is if you have a $10,000 credit card, then you want to keep your balance around 3000 or I got less. You. you don't want to have it all you maxed out. Right. Mm -mm. So what credit bureaus want to do is they want to see how much debt you can have and be trusted with it. I got you. So keep the balances down. If you do a balance transfer or let's say you pay a card off, this is the mistake a lot of people do is they pay a credit card off. Well, then they close it. So you oh, paid it off, which is great, but then you close that debt. So you've lowered your capacity, which lowers your score. I think I've probably done that in the past. <laughs> thinking thinking that I was, we that, that it was like, all right, I got to get rid of credit card debt. So I'm just going to close it. I'm paid it off. I'm closed. Now look at me. I'm good. So it actually is negative. Mm -hmm. So just pay yeah. that credit card, but keep it open. Yeah. Okay. And, and so, and watch open in new debt. Every mm -hmm. time you open new debt, it's going to lower your score. Gotcha. And it takes anywhere from six to 12 months for your score to start coming back up. So if I'm, if you know, one of the things I've always been curious of, like, you know, when you do go car shopping and you, you're out on a mm -hmm. Saturday and you go from, you know, store to store to store, they all want to run your credit. If, if you get that three times in that one Saturday, mm -hmm. is that a negative? Um, um, so if your cart, what they, um, credit bureaus, they, what they tell you is if you're going to do that, like your car shopping or you're looking to buy a new home, do it all within a two week period. And it's counted as one inquiry. I got you. I got you. Right. Because I know you, you go to the car lot and they take your information and they send it out and it could be ran by 14 different places. Now, one of the things I've realized is, you know, like I've been here, I've been working with credit union for a year now, but mm -hmm. um, from what I see you guys help everybody, it's your money ahead. If you just come in to us and mm -hmm. get the financing ahead of time, know what you qualify for. Then when you go, you know, you kind of basically have the money in hand uh, mm -hmm. you know that you're qualified for say $10,000 you can negotiate better prices at the dealership because you actually have, you know, you have some leverage in that and you're not getting disappointed because you wanted the $25,000 car and couldn't, you know, mm -hmm. um, couldn't qualify for, you know, that much. So coming yeah. in and talking to us first is probably even a better, a, a good way to save, you know, if you're trying to make a large purchase like that. Right. Because we can already have you pre-approved, have your rate know kind of what you are so when you go there you don't have to worry about them running your credit you don't have to worry about 14 other people running your credit right. it's already been ran we've already got you approved so is there any other tips or things that you do as a credit counselor that you can help or not credit counselor i'm sorry a financial counselor I know uh, um, that you can help you know what are kind of some of the things people can get from you if they set up an appointment well, as far as are we looking to build score or even establish credit? Because that's what we get too is they just don't have any credit. They're young and they haven't established. So what we can do is like a credit builder loan. And what that is, is we take the money, we put it on your, we put it in your savings on hold and you make monthly payments. And let's say you do it for a year. Your payments are about $89 a month. But once that, once you pay that off, you can take that thousand dollars, take five hundred of it, open a secured visa. I got you for five hundred dollars. Then do another credit builder. Then take the five hundred that's left over and put that in savings for an emergency. Very good, and that's all part of our new True Start mm -hmm. uh, program, which you can actually it becomes it's a checking account. Um, you've got access to Financial 360, some online tools. You have uh, 
credit score simulator where you can play with a lot of this stuff to help you figure out what you should pay down or pay off or you know what happens if you want to pay everything on time it will show you in real time what your score could be and then also we have the credit bill credit builder loan it's hard to say that fast and and the secure credit card so uh you know this one package is all these tools and one of the things that that we're trying to show everybody through these 90 days of financial fitness is you don't uh, besides just coming in and sign up for the program and getting a checking account is we do have staff that are certified and trained that are here to help you. So if you have questions, you can uh, reach out to them. Uh, one of the things I wanted to show real quick. Um, so we actually have, uh, we started last year with video banking. So you can actually uh, work with Melissa just like this face to face <laughs> over video. And I'm going to pull that up on my screen real quick. Um, here we go. So this is our website. Now you can do this from your iPhone or your Android device. The Android device, you would just go to the website that we have below. On an iPhone, you'd have to go to the Apple Store and download our video banking app. But from here, you would go down where it says, how may I help you? You will scroll down to Financial Wellness Counselor and perfect, uh, select your preferred language and then connect and it will ring just like a phone call would ring and it'll put you into a queue and when uh, someone's available they will pick up and it'll just be like you're on a zoom call or a facetime chat with uh, our financial counselor and you can also do all of your other banking with us that way so we really like video banking i think with you know the pandemic and we're you know all of our locations are closed to people coming in if you need to get a little bit more help than over the phone or through an email, you can use video banking. So we really, really uh, we think it's a great thing. We actually have a, a queue in there. You can select, I just want to try it. So you can demo it and see if you like it and uh, uh, try it out. So um, anything else you can think of, Melissa, that we can help people with today? Um. Just give us a call. We are willing to help you with, try to help you with anything. Speaking of call, that's 501-225-3636. You can uh, talk to Melissa and uh, or any of our staff. You can get any kind. You want to become a member. If you're not a member, uh, one of the things to remember is uh, True Service is the oldest credit union in Arkansas. We were uh, started with the uh, postal employees, but now we are a community credit union and we service if you live, work, or play in Pulaski or Faulkner County, you can be a member. Um, if you have questions via email, you can reach us at service at trueservice.net. We have our main branch. Is it uh, in Hermitage Road, 11001 Hermitage Road, right next to the butcher shop? And we have our new location in North Rock at 4140 JFK. And all of our drive throughs are open. And we're ready to serve you at any time. So Melissa, I just wanted to thank you for taking the time to help us today. Again, this is our 90 days of financial fitness. Follow us on Facebook. We'll have tips and uh, tricks that we can do to help you save money. But Melissa is there waiting for you to call. She has nothing else to do. All no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's busy helping everybody all day. So if you need mm -hmm. a help or if you need a car loan, you can reach out to Melissa. Melissa, thank you very much. Thank you. And we, let me see if I can do this right. I have to switch the show and talk in the show. So that's it. So thank you very much for joining us today on True Talk Live. We will be back next Tuesday and we will talk to another financial counselor and get some more information on how we can help you either build credit, uh, establish credit, or, uh, you know, get you onto a path of financial freedom uh, that you deserve. So thank you very much.